All right, guys, we about to go on a test drive. That's right, guys. Y'all know I am a firm believer in test drives after the repairs, okay? It's a must for me, okay? This is something I have to do, especially on a job like this. And what I'm talking about is uh, this overheating, this uh, Avenger, okay? Yes, it can appear to be fixed. Yes, the leaks are fixed. But what you need to find out as a mechanic is, are there any other reason why the car potentially would be overheating? Okay, in other words, check to see if it's still overheating. Because, yes, you may have fixed the surface. Oh, you may have fixed the byproduct. Let's go this way. Let's go under the parking deck. Whoa, look at the challenges. Look at those beauties. God, we got a lot of challenges, guys. Boy, when you find out something you're hot seller, you really stock up. Look at those Cherokees. Okay, guys, what was I talking about? Oh, overheating, guys. Yes, just because you made a repair, uh, byproduct of the overheating uh, problem, which was the leak. Okay, after the diagnosis, after the pressure test, we found out why it was overheating. Now, let's go over that. Why it was overheating was because, simply, simply because it was low on cooling. Now, when you find out the reason it was overheating was because it was low on coolant. Now you need to find out why exactly was it over, uh, why, why was it low on coolant? Okay, now from that point, uh, we proceeded to find out that under pressure, coolant was leaking at that coolant adapter housing. Okay, it houses both thermostats. Okay, now that is the reason why it was leaking. Now, was that the reason why it was overheating? Uh, could be in fact there's a 90 percent chance of that all right but you have to go in steps guys overheating with overheating complaints you really really need to go in steps okay verify you know what it takes to keep if you understand what it takes to keep a car from overheating your steps should be um you know you should accomplish your steps all right now the reason it was overheating like i say was because of the leak we got the leak fixed guys y'all saw the repair video if you didn't watch this video in the upper right card right here all right we got it fixed now what i'm doing now guys is uh something we all should do you should all do on a, uh, after you were finished i'm about to test drive now what i'm gonna do on this test drive guys things like i will turn the heat on number one i'm helping sure i bled it i attempted to try to get all the air pockets out of the cooling system but a drive would be better okay a drive afterward would be so much better because now the water pump can work the water pump can do its job which is to pump coolant throughout the cooling system okay i'm driving now while i'm driving that water pump is operating it is pushing the coolant throughout their entire cooling system all right uh hopefully it's gonna make its way to the heater core that's why i have the heater on Number one, guys, turn your heat on. Make sure the coolant is circulating through the heater core because the heater core is part of the cooling system. That's happening. My heater is warm and now it is hot. So I potentially now have a complete circulating uh, efficient cooling system. Now, I did not replace the water pump. However, I did replace the two thermostats, okay? Uh, number one reason is because the thermostat uh, responsible technically guys the thermostat was the reason why it was leaking because the gasket on the thermostat it is what is what uh seals the adapter housing to the actual head so now you probably can buy that seal separately like i say but because the way mopar sells it is part of the sealing process so you can easily say the thermostat was the reason why it was overheating. And that will sound perfectly normal because the thermostat can make a car overheat. Now, I, in essence, killed two birds in one stone. I managed to, well, I did. I replaced the thermostats, which could affect overheating. And I sealed, okay, I repaired a sealing process between the adapter housing and the head. All right, my whole point is, guys, the test drive should be meant 
to verify that the problem you just repaired is fixed. And I would like to uh, believe that I accomplished that. Now, my final test, guys, when I get back to the shop. No, you're not done when you're after the test drive. I'm going to go back into the shop. I'm going to verify the cooling level. Because keep in mind, also, on the test drive, guys, uh, the cooling is circulating. And um, if there's any potential leftover air pocket, it should be wiped away. If you're getting heat, guys, it's going to be hard for any kind of air pocket to survive at that point because the cooling is flowing throughout the cooling system. Hence, you have heat. So, But you may draw some cooling out of the reservoir. Okay, that's what is there is reserve. That's what that coolant in that bottle is actually there for. It's reserve coolant for when your cooling system need it, require it. All right, so when I shut the car off, uh, vacuum may pull some of that reserve coolant out back into the cooling system to properly, in essence, fill it up, really fill it up to complete, you know, to full capacity. All right, so I will verify the coolant reservoir is at the safe level in between the safe and the hot you know make sure it's up to par. so from there guys in after your test drive you have hot heat you're monitoring your cooling temperature uh gauge or level whichever one your car has you do not see it's overheating guys one can assume the car is fixed now would be the perfect time to uh deliver the car to the customer now like i say guys i will uh, wash off of uh, that excess coolant that was on top of the transmission. Never, ever, ever, ever give a car back to a customer like that, guys, because some customers uh, go under their hood when they get their car back, especially male counterparts, our male counterparts. They will pop the hood for nothing else to see if you replaced it. Could you imagine a guy popping his hood? Yeah, I got a new uh, adapter house on him, but look at all this coolant. I still have a leak. Oh my God, I'm taking it back. Yes, you can confuse consumer, confuse the customer into thinking they still have a leak when in essence you repaired it. That's why it is critical that you, uh, it's a mind thing to some people. Just clean the engine off, guys. Do yourself a favor, even if you're not getting paid for it. You don't have to get paid for everything, guys. Your image should be more important to you than uh, some things, especially, and on top of that, it doesn't take that much time. So that's where I'm at, guys. I'm back here at the dealership. Um, that's all I have, man. No sense in filming the rest of this. I am done, guys. I appreciate you guys watching, man. That's all I have. TDC. This was a, another episode of TDC Test Drive Chat. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all on the next video.